Plans for a U.S.-North Korea summit, once in jeopardy, are now apparently moving forward. Top North Korean official Kim Yong-chul, seen here walking through the Beijing airport, is set to meet with Secretary of State Mike Pompeo in the coming days. Top State Department officials were optimistic about the meetings, which will be held in New York. This will be the secretary's third meeting uh, with Kim Yong-chul. Uh, they've had, uh, obviously, very deep conversations where they've talked about a lot of detail about what the United States' expectations are. Again, I'm not going to get ahead of those meetings. I'll let the secretary handle it. Kim Yong-chol is the highest-ranking North Korean official to visit the U.S. in nearly two decades. He attended the 2018 Winter Olympics this year as part of North Korea's delegation to the Games. The former spy chief was also reportedly involved in the 2014 cyber attacks that targeted Sony Pictures. His New York visit comes as a U.S. delegation talks with officials in North Korea's demilitarized zone, and teams on the ground in Singapore rush to finalize summit logistics. President Donald Trump, who abruptly called off the historic summit last week, is now moving forward, tweeting in part, quote, solid response to my letter. Thank you. Experts say the North Korean leader's decision to send his right-hand man to the U.S. is a promising start. I think that uh, the North Koreans have never wanted to pursue denuclearization, um, but I think that they're willing to entertain it in exchange for um, economic and security rewards. And uh, so that's really, I think, the crux of the matter, um, to see if, if the United States and its allies can have leverage with the North Koreans to pursue the, our goals, which are the complete... Uh, verifiable, irreversible denuclearization of North Korea. Meantime, the White House confirms President Trump will meet with Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe on June 7th, just five days ahead of the potential peace summit in Singapore, in a meeting that is sure to include North Korea on the agenda. Elizabeth Chernef, VOA News, Washington.